Hi, my name is Ryang. Today I'm going to show you how to do showing and reshowing. Let's start with a simple example. Load, live load is taken into account. So let's take a look at the first floor. We're putting on a fresh concrete because now the fresh concrete slab is not allowed to deflect so all the load is transmitted through the shoring to the ground and the load on the shoring just 1D. Then we put on the second floor of fresh concrete slab. Still, floor 1 and 2 are not allowed to deflect. So all the loads increase the load just transmitted through the second floor of shoring to the first floor of shoring and to the ground. So the first second floor of shoring is 1D and the first floor of shoring now 1 plus 1 gives you 2D. Then, we take shoring from the first floor. What does happen? Now, floor 1 and 2 are allowed to deflect, which means previously the load on the first shoring is going to be distributed evenly on floor 1 and 2. So, 2 Divided by, divided by 2, which gives you 1D and 1D on each slab. Now we update that, it's 1D, 1D, and now the second slab is going to carry its own weight. So there's no load on the second floor of shoring. The load is zero. Then we just snug the reshoring under the first slab and nothing will happen. Then we put on the third floor of fresh concrete slab. Because we have reshoring, shoring, so none of them are allowed to deflect. So all the increased load just transmitted through the shoring and reshoring to the ground. Now on each Floor of showing or reshowing, we have 1D, 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 even in distributed. Then we take showing from the second floor. What's going to happen? Now we allow floor two and floor three to deflect, which means they're going to carry weight. So previously, the load on the second floor floor of shoring is going to be distributed evenly on slab 2 and slab 3. So you use 1D divided by 2 gives you 0.5D which is here and here. You update that and uh, you see the weight on the each slab. And as, as you can see here now slab 3 are going to carry half of its own weight, which is 0.5D. Previously, it carries nothing, right? So it means now the third floor of shoring is going to carry less than before, which is 1D minus 0.5D, which gives you 0.5D. Then we take reshoring from the first floor and snug it into the second floor nothing is going to change. But what changes here is that we put on the fourth floor of slab. Now, slab one, two, three is what? They're going to deflect. So all the nodes, the increased nodes, is going to be distributed evenly among them. And what more interesting is that the increase of loads, which is 1D, is going to transmit it first through the fourth floor of shoring. So the load is going to be 1D, right? To the third floor of slab. And the third floor of slab is going to carry one third of that 1D. Here it shows, right? Then, what's going to happen to the third floor of shoring? As you can see previously, let me change a uh, pen. Previously, the load on the third floor is 0.5D. Now, 
the third float slab is going to carry 0.33d, right, of the 1d, which means there is 0.67 is going to go through slab th 3 to the slab uh, below that. So, previously, the third flow of shoring carries 0.5d, and now there is an extra 0.67d going through that, which gives us 1.17. Use 0.5 plus 0.67 gives you 1.17, right? And the same thing happens to the seventh flow of shoring. Sorry, reshoring. Previously, it carries nothing, right? And now, because there's an extra weight going through that, which is 0.340, now it just gives you 0.340. Then, we go to the eighth 